So zero net is essentially, think of this as peer-to-peer -peer web hosting, right? So um, there may be content that is out there, maybe let's say it's a PDF file or an HTML web page or something like that, right? So um, this is something where um, you want to share information in some way and you want a distributed model. So much like a web page, for example, right? In this case, though, there are no IP addresses or domain names for websites. Instead, the, the uh, URL for the website is actually a public key. So that uses a public-private key encryption to uh, facilitate the communications, right, and to share content. The benefits of this is that there are no hosting costs, so you can actually host content in this peer-to-peer -peer shared model uh, so that you know, people can get your content, but without any risk of hosting cost or anything like that. And the other benefit is that it's impossible to shut down uh, because the way in which the data is distributed amongst the peers that are in the network, it, it's essentially uh, impossible to shut down the content. Uh, once content is downloaded, you can also keep it and view it offline, which is helpful. And in this case, uh, it can be used to distribute content that uh, that is useful offline. For example, maybe illegal content or malicious content that can be used. The important thing to note here is, is that it's actually not anonymous by default, uh, which, which is interesting. So if you're trying to commit a crime on this, uh, just kind of keep that in mind. Not that we're encouraging that, of course. Uh, but for us as investigators, it's important to know because there may be some missteps in uh, our, our targets or our adversaries' uh, operational security. So in, in this case, again, there are uh, public and private keys that are used. So if you're hosting a website, then your public key is essentially your website address, uh, which, which is pretty cool. And so the content is distributed by BitTorrent. If you're familiar with that, that's essentially a peer-to-peer -peer network that where each person in the network or a bunch of people within the network can actually host a small piece of content that is a, a part of the content that is requested and that can be assembled. And um, when the content is first requested, the requester asks one of the tracking servers, hey, give me a list of people that have part of this content. And then the software goes, finds the folks that have the pieces of content, goes, downloads it from those peers that host the content, and then assemble it for viewing by the requester. Um, and then once the content is downloaded to your system, the software that's installed ZeroNet will actually go and share out that content with other people. So then you're able to redistribute the content as well. This is a very, very high level overview of this. So more information is actually at zeronet.io. That's their website if you're interested in learning a little bit more. And this is just to give you kind of a, an awareness that this is out there and the types of, uh, types of content and the types of methods that it's, uh, that it's using to share the content.